Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I'm making a soap called Raspberry Cream and I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use white and I have this red raspberry mica from Be Scented and really red mica from Nurture Soap. I'm going to mix those and then I'm just going to do kind of a back, just drop and swirl, uh, drop and swirl, a drop swirl with both colors and then I'm going to pipe a little bit on the top and I made embeds, which I haven't done in so long. But I made all these little raspberry embeds, and I'm going to put some of those on the top. I made way too many, but um, I am going to strain my lye solution just because it has some lilac in it.
piping is not quite set up, but I'm going to try to do it anyways. This is a Wilt in 1A, just an open tip. And I think I'm just going to do a dollop like you see here. And then kind of a, um, a row of berries kind of diagonally and keep doing that across. I'm going to have to push them down in though because... I don't want them to not be able to go through my cutter. That would be cute to put them on the dollop too, wouldn't it? I wonder if I should do that instead. I am back to cut raspberry cream or I think I call it raspberry cream and you can see when I banged it down obviously those flattened out a little bit more and there's a tiny bit of a yellowish tinge to it um, must be the fragrance oil but the weird thing is I've used this fragrance oil so many times that's never happened now this particular day I had made four soaps I'm loving the drop swirl I haven't done like just back and forth um, to do a drop swirl in a long time. I think it turned out pretty. And I like the reddish pink color too. Um, anyways, so I made four soaps and I had issues with every single one of them and they're fragrances I've used before. And what happened was, <clears throat> excuse me, I made uh, the for this one, okay, I've used a million times. I made this first and set it aside and it was, you know, I checked on it while I was making the other soaps and it was fine. And then I made the second one, which was Lavender Fields and that one was okay. And when I say okay, I mean there was no cracking on the top. Then I got to the last two, the Teakwood and Cardamom and the Manly Man. And the Manly Man was split open in the middle with this big crack and I was like, oh my gosh, that is gonna, that is overheating and it's gonna bubble out. It, I had never seen anything like that before. So, a quick put it in the fridge and let it chill for a little bit. But in the meantime, the teak wood and cardamom started doing the same thing. 
and then I look and the lavender fields had a crack in it as well. And I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? And then maybe, gosh, maybe three, three or four hours after I made this raspberry one, it started to have a crack in the top. Um, like, I mean, you can't really tell. Let's see. That's part of the crack. And it happened to be pretty much where I was cutting it, so it worked out okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have allergies or something, and I just constantly feel like I have something to clear in my throat. So sorry I keep doing that. But anyway, so the difference is, the, the only difference is uh, my recipe is the same, everything's the same. The only thing I can think of is the last two I did with the heat transfer method. The two, and those fragrances I know do get really hot. So I kind of expected it, but usually it'll just be like a small crack. And this time it was just like, I thought it was going to like bubble out of it. It was weird looking. And so I, one of them, I did the heat transfer with those two. This one I did regular, like my, I warmed up my, my oils and butters and then did my lye solution like I normally do. That was how I normally do it. And then uh, the lavender fields, what did I do different? I didn't, oh my gosh, I can't remember. One of them I left just room temperature and didn't warm up like I normally do. And so all four of them, and like fra fragrances I'm familiar with, it was the weirdest thing. And my husband said, well, you know, maybe it's the humidity or something. Because we've had like uh, 108 and 109 heat indexes here the past few days. But the thing is, is it's the same temperature in my house. You know, it's like 72 degrees. So if you guys have had that happen just randomly, um, let me know. And, you know, I want to know if you have any ideas what it could be, what caused them to overheat. Um... But okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.